So finally I added color brush to M train. And this part was one of the biggest steps for this train system. So before starting to work on brush system, I did a little research in Unity and Unreal. And I take a look how they implement texture painting. In one of the Unity train system, I saw that uh, you can set a texture and normal map and then it handle everything for you. I liked Unreal Engine system more as I believe it give you more control over train material. Basically Unreal provide a layer blend node which let you paint on train and you will use those paint information in shader material as you wish. Also that layer blend has multiple algorithm that you can use which you can see here. But at last I came up with my idea to how implement this in mtrain plugin. So with this brush system you are able to do some advanced or basic stuff as you want. And it support different algorithm for texture painting. For example you can use a splat mapping. With this method you can set 5 texture with a splat map on top of the train. There is another method which let you to mix 256 different texture on top of the train if the GPU memory have a space for those texture. We will discuss about that also in this video. Another thing about texture painting is that this is not only for painting textures. Sometimes you want to make some variation on train based on the splat map texture. For example, you want to make some part of the train wet. In this case, you don't put a new texture on the train, you just modify the current texture on the train. Basically, you make them a little bit darker and you decrease the roughness and so on. So color painting is not only for putting different texture on the train. It is also for sending any kind of information into the train shader. Well, let's get started. So I remove this train shader and I start from the beginning. First, you need to create a texture. For that, make sure you select the train and then go to Project Setting, Tools, M-Train Image Creator. You can also import a splat map image and start from there. But we are going to create an image. So we should choose a right format for our splat map texture. You can choose various texture format, but one thing to note, the image format with compression is not supported. So you can see they are not here. Also half floating point format are not supported as well. But you can choose any of this image format under here. And I think at the time of the recording of this video only RGB565 format has a problem with some of the brushes. For now I choose RGBA8 image format so I have four different channel to paint. I choose a name for my uniform name. I call that splat map. Also you can set a default color for your image here. Then I create that image. Very good, I have a splat map image. Now let's include this into our train shader. The way you can include this is like this. In the train shader, just define a sampler to the uniform with the same name of your uniform. Just add mtrain prefix to that. By doing this, train automatically grab the splat map texture which we created. So now we can use this splat map texture to mix different train texture. As this video is not about how to write train shader for the purpose of demonstration, I only show my splat map texture so you can see what is happening. And remember any texture which come with M train prefix should be read by region UV. I explained about this in the train documentation. Well now we have our black train and that is because our splat map is black. So we have our splat map texture, how we should paint on that. For that you need to define a paint layer. The way you do that is just by going into the layer section of the train and here we can define our layers. So you can divide your layers into different groups. Here we set how many layers group we want. For now I just want one layer group. Now here just create a layer group resource. So you can define a title for this layer group. Down here you should define on which texture you want to paint. You can also have multiple texture for your train. For now I just have a splat map so I put the name of that here. And make sure you spell the uniform name correctly. 
In the next section, we can define which brush we want to use to paint on a splat map texture. We have four brushes for now, which in this video I explain about each of them shortly. For now, I just set that to color paint. Down here, I can define how many layers I want to have in this layer group. If I open one of these layer, you can see I can set some parameter here. Now, if I change the brush, as you can see, the parameter in this layer changed too because each brush is different and take different parameter. So here I just set a name for my layer. Also, I can set an icon for my layer, but this icon has nothing to do with in shader. It just help you to see what you are painting. Okay, I set the color for other layers. And now we are good to go. So activate the paint mode. In the paint panel, just switch to color brush. Here you can see three different layers that we just defined. And as you can see, I can paint on my train. You can see the color are a little bit blocky and that is because in shader I define my splat map texture by filter nearest. Okay, now that we know how color paint work, let's take a look at the next brush. Next brush is called Channel Painter. With Channel Painter, you have more control over how each color channel will affect it. For example, I want that the first layer only affect the red channel. So I check the red channel and I set the red value. So when you paint on this layer, other channel, which are green and blue channel, will not affect it. This is very useful when you want to send different information into different channel. Maybe you want to change the train roughness in one of these channel. So you can use this. I think you understand how these things work. So the next brush is Bitwise brush. To understand this better, let me tell you this way. For example, for RGB8 format, we have three 8-bit information, which send it to train shader. If I set the first bit index as zero, the bit index are like this. Now with this brush, you can change the bit value by changing the bit index here. You can also set each bit value to true or false. So why this is useful? Because with that, you can send with each byte eight different Boolean state. And with each of these state, you can change some factor in your train. As an example, I used one of these to create holes in my train. And this is really useful because you can send a lot of information in the most compact way. So how you can grab this bit information in shader code? This video is not about this, but I am making a tutorial series about train shader. And maybe I will refer to this there. Well, now let's see the brush which let you mix 256 different texture. So how does this work? As you know, each pixel in texture has three channels. Right now, I only talk about those texture, which each channel of them is 8-bit, like RGBA8 or R8 or RGB8 and so on. This kind of texture send information in format of unsigned integer, which the range of that is between 0 up to 255. So we can send an integer number to the train shader only with one channel of our color. That was the first part. After we send that information into the shader, we are going to import our train texture as texture to the array. So texture array is a kind of texture which I can say each texture are in a special order and you can grab each texture with its corresponding index. So how you can import a texture array into Godot there are many ways, but one of the easiest way is to put your texture into a grid. For example, here, I put my textures into a grid of four texture. Normally, when you want to use this method, you want to add a lot of texture, but I made only four texture just for testing. After that, I set the normal map texture in the same order of another texture. One thing about the train is that I really recommend to pack different texture to one texture. For example, here I put also my roughness and ambient occlusion into this texture. This can help a lot to optimize your shader. Okay, after doing that, in the import section, just as importer, select texture to the array. And in the slice section, for now, I set that to 2, which means in each direction, it should 
slice the texture into two parts and as you can see we have a texture array and each texture is recognized with an index so in shader code just define a uniform with texture to the array type and assign your texture to that now you should include a shader code before the vertex function just go to the train plugin folder inside shader include folder you can find paint 256 file copy its path and include that inside your shader code before the vertex function if you look at this include file it has two function the first one is going to grab the texture indices we need four index because we should blend between those images after you grab those indices you need to use get texture 256 to read the correct image first i grab my indices this will return a vector 4 beside that we need to grab the weight so we create a vector 2 and i call that weight and then pass your splat map texture and the weight to this function well done now we can read from our texture like this You can use the same function to grab normal map and other stuff. But for this tutorial, I just import albedo texture. Now if I create my train, you can see all of the train assigned to the texture with index 0. So let's create our layers. Choose paint 256 as a brush and then choose the correct layer for correct index. Our texture index start from 0 up to 3. Well now just go and paint your texture. But there are some important things that you should know about this brush. This method has some pros and cons. One of the cons is that you cannot blending like a splat map. Also if you have a few texture this will give you no advantage over a splat map texturing. But if you have many texture to mix this has much better performance compared to a splat mapping. If you look at include shader file as you can see here we read from the splat map texture four times. Also, we read from the albedo array texture four times. And if we have two texture or we have 30 texture, this almost do the same calculation for both cases. Another thing about this method is that this only use the red channel. So as I created my splat map as RGBA8 format, so you can use green, blue, and alpha channel to send other information to the train. But all of us know that we are not going to use 256 different images for our train. The GPU memory cannot handle that. So I made another brush which used less data and also take less space. And with that brush, you can mix 16 different images. For that, choose paint 16 as brush and create layers for that. Now in shader code, you need to include the correct shader file and also you need to change the name of the functions. Now if I paint as you can see it does not work properly and that is because this type of the brush need RGBA4 format to work correctly. So I create an image with that format and as you can see everything work properly. The paint 16 brush does not have a better performance compared to paint 256. It just takes less space. I wanted to add another type of the brush which also work with texture array but also has weight. I saw an article about that in NVIDIA page but unfortunately it did not work. And I cannot find any information about this on internet. If any of you have some information about this kind of stuff, please let me know. Also if you have any suggestion or question, leave in the comment section. And have a good time. Until the next video, bye.